Okay, first off, before I start with the content of this video, uh, there are some uh, extra things that I want to point out first. There is a Calibri Companion, which I'll con uh, I will cover in a future video, but what I didn't know was that while the demo version will work fine when you sideload it, uh, the the full paid version won't work when you sideload it because it actually specifically checks Google Play services uh, for the license. So if I actually go to my apps tab, as you can see, I enabled the Google I enabled uh, Google Play services, so there's a Play Store icon there. Of course, something like this is not officially certified, but of course they still have to provide Play services as an option for st uh, for people who like specifically need to get stuff from the Play Store and not anything else like the Goodie Reader App Store or Android or even Boyu's own curated App Store. So what I did was I so once I enabled Google Play, I didn't really have a need for the goodie, goodie Reader App Store and the uh, APK track, so I uninstalled both of those and then I just hit the uh, Boyu uh, App Store icon. I'll try to do videos about Calibre Companion and KO Reader later on, but first what I want to show is the built-in Wi-Fi book transfer feature. So here is the screen for it it actually shows your qr code which points to this particular address which is the ip address of your device of course i can have it connected to my home wi-fi so it has a uh wait for this one. the uh, local ip address there so i got my computer behind here and now i want to show you the reason why i don't actually use the uh, the I want to show you the reason why I don't actually use this built-in Wi-Fi book transfer feature. And it's that the actual web portion of the interface is entirely in Chinese. But basically what it's saying that you can only transfer EPUB, plain text, PDF, Mobi Pocket, and uh, one of the Kindle proprietary formats. And basically I think this is supposed to be like a list of uh, things that will actually transfer. So this button here is basically an upload button. Oh wait, no, I actually have an extension called translate this that's installed. So what I can do is, yeah, there you go. So that says file name. This says size, uh, probably in megabytes. And this one says operating so i'm guessing that means it's saying like it is yet to tra it's queued transferring or transferred uh i'm guessing this text here says wi-fi transfer oh wi-fi book what the heck okay uh can't really grab the text here but i'm sure it says like se select files to upload yeah actually if i mouse over here yeah it says no files selected so I'm pretty sure that's like a brow the browser doing that, uh, which is Pale Moon that I'm using here. Uh, this one says, yeah, I was actually right about that. So it only supports uh, those five formats that I mentioned. So of course, see, this is this is the re like the reason why it only supports these five uh, formats. It's actually the reason why I don't use this. Like I mean, I'm fine with the interface being entirely in trans uh, Chinese because. As I mentioned, I had an extension installed in my, in, in my browser called Translate This. So, for example, if I were to just select a random file here, and as you can see, it throws this error here, which I'm hoping I can just uh, select here and... Okay, I can't actually right-click it, otherwise I could have used Translate This, but I'm sure it's saying uh, up, uh, a file is not any of these types or something like that. So now, what I'm going to do is dive into my folder here. Now, uh, you you may have already, uh, actually, I, I should show it to you, but basically, if I were to just quickly back up into the home screen here, and as you can see, I actually already, so a lot of these books here, uh, I mean, no, okay, Calibre PDF Originals. So, I use Calibre Companion to sync books to this, and so all of this stuff are like the original files that I've imported into Calibre. So for example, if I were to show you one of the books here, like in this case, The Fuzzy Princess Volume 1, which I have on my e-reader right there. So if I were to select this, double click, 
and as you can see I was right, it's actually, it's actually uploading to the e-reader now and I believe what this will actually do is upload to the local storage so I will most likely end up with a duplicate book because all my books on my uh on like that I use with the built-in reader are all stored on the memory card so it will most likely show a duplicate here so as you can see so this is what it looks like and I'm gonna just go ahead and take a screenshot of this so I can use it as a YouTube thumbnail and I'll be back when it once this is done actually uh I'm sorry about that it's just I really enjoy reading fuzzy princess uh without actually noticing that the um latest compilation which I've mentioned uh the Kickstarter campaign for in my previous video about Firefox uh, I forgot the actual uh book actually is the like the largest book in my collect in my entire Calibri library because the thing is that the reason why I prefer ebooks in PDF these days and this is like my third phase of like re have, uh, collecting ebooks the reason why I use PDFs is because even though PDF is originally intended as a document form format rather than a book format it just so happens that PDFs tend to like replicate uh, physical books as close as possible like even closer than EPUB and Moby Pocket and I think even the Kindle proprietary formats but of course um, the stronghold of the Kindle proprietary formats is uh, uh, feature specific to that service such as Wordwise and X-Ray so I'll be back once this is uh, done okay just flash just now it says uh, the transfer is complete and then there's a download button is this a... Oh! It actually um, puts a download link. Like, it actually downloads it. Okay, what does the cross do? Uh, yeah, again, actually, hold on. Can I just pop into the developer tools and then translate from there? No, no, no. No, I'm very sure I can't actually run uh, the translation through the developer tools. So, actually, when I reload the page, it actually uh, disappears. I'm guessing the cross was to, like, delete the book for something. So now when I press home, as you can see, I now have a duplicate fuzzy princess here that's actually marked as new. So this is the one I have that has been transferred to the internal storage. This is the one I already have on my memory card. So if I tap and hold... No, that's not right. Uh file manager file manager internal storage yeah I was right it, it transfers to the in hey okay it transfers to internal slash books oh that's interesting so it actually puts in a folder called Wi-Fi transfer and there's the book and like it puts it in that Wi-Fi transfer folder and then it adds it to the library for the built-in reader application. Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm like burping. So, yeah. And then if I went, if I go into the bookshelf settings, no, 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 that's not right. Uh, book management. No, that's not right. Ugh. Okay, there it is. So by default, you can have it scanned as. Uh, scan the books folder or the root of the storage on both the internal user storage and the memory card so usually I just have it set to the books folder because it's much easier that way of course another way is you can just put books in a separate folder and then you'll just add themselves to the, the library of the built-in reader once you open it in the built-in reader so you can click the cross button here which cancels the transfer of course and it actually transfers an incomplete book. What the heck? Like, it's not able to grab a preview for this. What happens if I open this? It fails to open. Yeah, it just flashes and then doesn't do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. I have no idea why it decided not to delete the incomplete file. Like, when you cancel it, it just... What the heck? Now the better solution that I use instead of this actually does remove the incomplete file. And I'll actually talk about that better solution in the next video.
Okay, I just grabbed the um, smallest PDF file I have because it's actually from Wikibooks. And now what does this cross button do? Actually, yeah, uh, that looks like, actually if I go to books. Okay, I now have a one here called basic book. Oh, wait, wait a minute, do I already have this? So as I was saying, once you transfer it, I think what the cross does, it just deletes the file. Yep, I was right, it deletes the file. So that's about it for the built-in Boyu Wi-Fi book transfer. And it just refreshed the page. Okay, yeah, I think the, the Wi-Fi book transfer application actually closed. So I think that's why the screen went white like that. Okay. It loaded the page, but of course it doesn't completely load the page because I closed the app. So this is what happens when you delete a file that is still in the built-in library. It comes with this prompt. Uh, I'm guessing this uh, is supposed to say uh, the file, this book has been deleted um, and the uh, you, and uh, do you want to delete the library entry for this so I tap ok which is yes and then it removes that and then what I can now do is to try and find the same book that I have uh, that in my case is actually already on the SD card which is in the folder called books and then actually wait, wait, where is it? it should be somewhere around here crap I can't remo even remember <sighs> great I think I just set up I just accidentally set up a scenario for the next video. So that's about it for my um, demonstration on the Boyu uh, Wi-Fi book transfer. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.